I thought the conversation went well today. Uh, there's a wealth of, of information and um, there's a lot of good things that New Mexico is doing in, in this regard. We've got comprehensive standards, we've got some challenges with implementation, which isn't unusual for many states, and a recogni recognition that communities and families have to be part of this conversation. 50% of teens are having sex. We need to be real about this and we need to provide services. And we all need to work together. I think by making sex education uh, more available and comprehensive, we are empowering youth to make decisions that are really going to impact them throughout their entire life. You know, if we don't ramp up what we're doing in terms of prevention, which is where the dollars aren't, um, they don't tend to put dollars into prevention because it's hard to measure prevention, um, we're going to continue to see numbers either stay where they are or con continue to get worse. I hope that the state takes um, a more comprehensive and coordinated approach and continue building on the successes that we've already had to really target those high, those high risk, high need areas and help communities um, tackle reducing teen pregnancies and supporting very young families. Join us for Public Square on the last Thursday of each month and visit our website by going to newmexicopbs.org and clicking on local productions. Here you can give us feedback or suggest topics. Also join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter by searching for Public Square NM. Thank you for watching.